It's colder than a snow squall in here. Feels quite pleasant to me. Nice and chilly. But if you're cold, this should warm you up. Your chicken hat? Not my style. Come on, how could you say no? This hat is the warmest. Sam. Softest, coziest. Sam. <gasps> a clay crest. The director's got a new case for us. Hmm. Ah, uh, I was feeling chilly. Well, you'll need to keep warm where you're going, agents. Every spring, these snowshoe hares head from the tundra to their forest campground. But this year, they arrived to discover that one of them was missing. Whoa. That's a lot of rabbits. Not rabbits, Sam. They're snowshoe hares. Hares are bigger than rabbits with longer legs. Indeed. Your job is to figure out what's happened to that missing hare. You can count on us, Director. Now arriving at destination biome. North American forest. 105? Are you 105? No, I'm 23. 105! 105! 105! Excuse me, campers. Uh, was it something I said? Snowshoe hares are good at staying still when they're alarmed, and their fur makes them camouflage so they're hard to see. Huh, it's true. Their brown fur really blends into the forest. Oh. Hello there. We're from Clay, and we're here to find your missing camper. Oh, thank goodness. Well, we noticed someone was missing when we got here. Every spring we come to the forest from the cold, snowy tundra. That's because the snacks here are the best. Grass and flowers. <laughs> but one camper never made it. Can you tell us what they look like? Well, I suppose they look just like us. Long ears, brown fur, big feet. How's this? Looks like they're frozen again. I'm sorry, agents. We're a little nervous. That's all right. What's the missing camper's name? Oh, uh, was it Barbara? I'm Barbara! Sorry. There are so many campers, I can't keep them all straight. Okay, well, how about... Oh, no, not again. I don't think we're going to get much more out of them. The hares came from the snowy tundra north of here, so we better start our investigation there. This looks like the place. Wow, if we weren't here for work, this would be a great vacation spot. Yeah, if you like your vacations extra hot and sweaty. Excuse me. Welcome to the Howler Monkey Resort for peace and relaxation! Why is she yelling? Howler monkeys are known for being pretty loud. We're from Clade, and we'd like to ask the manager a few questions. Ah, he's already being interviewed. Is that guy with you? Huh? Another detective? Who is that guy? Excuse me, I'm Agent Kid Casey, and this is Agent Sam Snow. And you are? Philip. Philip Knight, nocturnal detective. When you want a case solved, I'm the night monkey for the job. Okay. Night monkey? I thought we were dealing with howler monkeys. Night monkeys are a whole different species. We're nocturnal, see? Which means we only work at night, see? And I only work alone. <laughs> Look, Philip. It's been very nice to meet you, but we've been sent here to crack this case. Sorry, kid, but this is my case. Uh, maybe we could work together. Oh, fine, but just don't get in my way. Sir, can you tell us what happened here? Well, I... Notice anything strange? Strange? Uh, I... Maybe just start from the beginning and... Listen here, pal. Just what are you trying to hide? Okay, okay, I confess. One time I took a twisty straw from the kitchen, but I was going to bring it back. A straw? No, we're trying to find out what's poisoning your guests. Was it you? Me? No, I love our guests. 
We're like a big family here. Well, did you serve them any unusual food lately? Anything poisonous? Not that I know of. We only serve leaves here. And we've never had any problems with them. Until yesterday. It seems there's no other explanation. If leaves are all they ate, then... Then the leaves must be poisonous. Hey, I was about to say that. But that's impossible. We've been eating these leaves forever. We better do a poison scan. Leave it to me, kid. I got a nose for this sort of thing. Why don't we both check the leaves and see who can get to the bottom of this mystery first? You're on. It's the leaves. I'm sorry, Mr. Manager, but these leaves you're serving are po definitely poisonous. Creature cases. We have the island surrounded with our clue bots. Everything they see, we can see too. They're watching the vines, the surface of the water, and even the air. If anything tries to swing, swim, or fly onto the island, our clue bots will spot it. So, what do we do now? Now, we wait. Bots didn't see anything. <gasps> what in the holy world? My fruities! How did it get onto the island without being seen? Oh, this doesn't make any sense. If it's not coming by land, or air, or the water's surface, it must be coming from... Under the water! Cluebot, go! If it's under there, we'll find it. What was that? It looked like it was walking along the bottom. Whatever it is, it's moving fast. I can't watch. Where'd it go? Ah! Bluebot! <gasps> what happened? What was that thing? Look, Sam. Fang marks. That was definitely the fruit thief. So that's how it's been getting onto the island. Going underwater. <gasps> Over there! <gasps> Wait! Now the noises are coming from that way! It's always one step ahead of us. So let's not take any steps. Stand very still, Kit, and listen. It's heading into the water! Gotta borrow this! <laughs> Woohoo! Got him! Careful, Kit! We don't know what we're dealing with here! It could be. The, the mouse, mouse deer? Huh? Oh, hey guys! Did you find that fruit thief yet? <laughs> I think we just did. That was one fruity burp. Burp again, little guy. <gasps> oh, would you look at that? I never knew mouse deer had fang. The creature cases. A leopard? You better be pulling my horn. Leopard? There's a leopard on the loose? Not so fast, Sam. This was no leopard. Look, the spots don't match, see? We can't risk it. If there's even a chance a leopard is attacking folks, I gotta shut down the watering hole. Aww. Hold up, Reggie. You might be able to keep the party going. If we can just figure out... The bugs! Whiskers, that's it! What's it? Kit, I know who's jumping on the rhinos. And I know how to catch her, too. Sam, this decoy looks pretty real. There's even bugs buzzing around it, just like a real rhino. But what's the plan here? Isn't it obvious? We're setting a trap. Someone with four muddy paws is jumping out of trees and onto the rhinos to eat the bugs. Of course. It must have been. <gasps> the 
Damn it, we met earlier! Whoa! There she goes! <laughs> Going somewhere? Hi. This is who's been sneaking in here and scaring everybody? Sure is. This little Janet has four muddy paws, jumps out of trees, and she loves to eat bugs. Oops. Uh, I didn't mean to cause trouble. There's just so many tasty bugs in here, and I can reach them better when I jump on your backs. Sorry. Rhinos only tonight. You gotta scram. Oh, I do? Maybe not. Mm. I've got an idea. Glad things are back to normal. And hey, those bugs are gone too. Yeah, all thanks to our new official bug eater. <laughs> Do you mind if I hop up? Sure thing, girl. <laughs> She's gonna go far in this business. Great idea, <laughs> Don't mention it, Brad. Just glad to have another creature case closed. <laughs> Sam? <laughs> Look who's sleepy now. <laughs> hey, that's my job! <laughs> <laughs> Yet, but we... <laughs> Agents, I regret to inform you that your aircraft is full of bees. We know. As you can see from the My Squad's photos, the bees will chase away anyone who enters. We know. This happened five minutes ago to us. Your mission is to figure out why the bees are on board and to safely get them out. Right. That's what we were going to... It's up to you, Agents. <laughs> well, I guess we've got a new creature case on our hands. But it's nothing we can't handle. Time to investigate. So many bees. But what are they doing in there? Better talk to Ron to see if he can tell us anything. <laughs> Come in, Ron. Can you hear me? I system malfunction. Too much honey initiating lockdown. Doors are locked. Ron, talk to us. Initiating hive mind. Huh? Hive mind? Bees. I am one with the bees. What? <laughs> the bees have taken over Ron. Seems like you two have got a bee in your bonnet. Huh? Careful, Sam. That's a honey badger. They're known to be pretty tough. Oh, yeah, I'm tough, all right. If any animal picks a fight with me, I scare him right off. Porcupines, snakes, even leopards. I win. Every time. So, what do you want with us? Easy, friend. I'm here to help you. And I might be the only one who can. Help us? See, I'm something of an expert at breaking in and out of places, and I know a thing or two about bees. I could take a look inside for you. Are we really gonna trust this guy? I don't think we have a choice. Honey badgers are really good at getting in and out of places. <sighs> okay, let's do this. You've made the right choice. I'll sneak into your jet and see what's happening in there. Better get you geared up first. This is a sting meter. It'll count the number of times you're stung. Honey badgers can get a lot of bee stings and be just fine, but even they have their limits. That's right. You gotta know when to walk away and when to run. Creature cases! Nothing stinky here, just the sweet, scrumptious smell of honey. Mmm. Uh, may I? Sure. Ooh, delightful. 
Do I detect a hint of acacia flower? Mm-hmm. Sir, are you gonna eat that wax? Oh, help yourself. <laughs> Don't worry, Beatrice. I know every hive in the area. Oh. We'll check them all until we find your parents. Lead the way, Indy. in the neighborhood and there's still no sign of Beatrice's family. Nobody's seen them either. They must have gone farther than we thought. But why? Well, sometimes bees have to pack up and move really quickly. Like when their hives become overloaded with pests? No, nope. no pests in our hive. We clean it all the time. It was spotless. Or they'll sometimes leave suddenly if their food supply is running low. What did your family like to eat? Mostly pollen from acacia trees. Aha! Just as I thought. But acacia trees are rare in this part of the savannah. Maybe your family moved to where there's more of them. Oh, I'm sorry. I can only find beehives, not trees. Don't worry. We have other ways. Bluebots, search for acacia trees. They found something. This way. I was just going to suggest going that way. Well, I see lots of acacia trees. But no beehives. Are you sure you can't find any? Yes. N no. Oh, I don't know anymore. Maybe I'm not clade material after all. Clade agents never give up. There's got to be a... <gasps> Wait, listen. Sounds like buzzing bees to me. Wait, I don't think... <sighs> never mind. Andy. A good agent trusts their instincts. Agent Snow! I don't think those are bees! Yeah. <laughs> ah! Flies! Good instincts, Agent. Matt? Sir? Have you seen any bees? <laughs> bees! Bees! Where? Where? <laughs> 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 It's a... it's a... DINOSAUR! <laughs> <laughs> there are no dinosaurs around anymore! They're extinct! Mm -hmm. Maybe it is a dinosaur! Why don't we sit over there? Under the air conditioner? Too cold. What about by the window? Whoopsie. Mmm, too smelly. What about by Director Scratch? <laughs> uh, she doesn't look like she wants company right now. How about here? Kit, look! Director Scratch has a new case for us to solve. But isn't she sitting right over... Oh, she's good. Director Scratch, how did you get... Let's get right down to it, Agents. The Mice Squad have sent us some puzzling reports of a prehistoric dinosaur disturbing a swamp. A dinosaur? But that's impossible. Dinosaurs have been extinct for millions of years. Even I know that. It sounds strange, but the rabbits who live in the swamp are certain they saw a dinosaur, and they're terrified. They may think they saw a dinosaur, but things aren't always the way they seem. We'll figure out what's really out there. Good luck, agents.
now arriving at destination biome. North American wetlands. Thanks, Ron. Hello? Is anyone around? We're from Clade. And we're here to investigate a dinosaur sighting? Oh, hello. Don't move. Dino check. Hmm. Furry tails. Cute little noses. Nope. Definitely not dinosaurs. Well, of course we're not dinosaurs. It's okay, everyone. No dinos here. Sorry, can't be too careful. We thought it had returned. It's being the dinosaur. It's got the whole swamp scared. We've never seen anything like it. What did it look like? Big and green and dinosaur-y. It snapped its jaws at me and nearly took my tail clean off. Snap! Hmm. Which way was it going? Don't worry. Clade is on the case. The Creature Cases. Check it out. We were able to pick up a signal from our missing satellite. Now we can track it. Really? How does that work? Who cares? If we follow it, we can find the thief. Yep. Signal's a bit spotty, though, and it's on the move. Then we'd better hurry. Follow that signal. Whoopsie! This way! No, this way! follow the signal one way, it goes another. It's like it's in two places at once. That's impossible. Unless... Whiskers, that's it. It's not one signal, it's two. But what does it mean? Better split up and find out. <sighs> nice try. I'm right on your tail. Huh? Where'd he go? All I see is a bunch of logs. That's no log, that's... <gasps> Captain Conway the Crocodile! Agnes the Alligator. That's my name, don't wear it out. <laughs> Hold up, what's that in your teeth? This thing? Ugh, it's been bugging me all day. <gasps> then my squad satellite! Where's the satellite, Conway? No evidence, no crime. <laughs> The satellite. It was you. Also, yeah. I have no idea how that got there. Kid, I can't believe it, but my detective instincts were wrong. It was the crocodile. But Sam, I think you were right all along. It was the alligator. Uh huh? huh? All right, so we were both right. It must have happened like this. They both chomped the van at the same time, and they both bit off a chunk of the satellite. Actually, I chomped it first. Only because your big old tail was blocking my way. I thought I was chomping into something tasty, not something that'd get stuck in my teeth. Or give me a bellyache. That explains the two tail trails. And why we both saw something different. Thanks, guys. I'm Agent Sam Snow. And I'm Agent Kid Casey. Sorry guys, it's up to you now. Stay cool out there, Agent. You can count on us, Director. 